Hey everybody, this is Jeff. Okay, so we're gonna call using a different number. That's why I had to switch up the phones so I can do it. Now we're gonna call the number 2849437. 2849, 284. Ah, dang it. So hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see what that was more than. All right, what? Hold on, give me a second. All right. 9437. 9437. 9437. Okay, 9437. So it's 284 9437. 284 9437. 9437. Okay, 9437. Let me get into my calling thing. 9437. Gosh dang it, I can't. 9437. Dial pad 94. Three seven, two eight four nine four three seven. Okay, so this is the number. All right, and we're gonna call it now. It's gonna be very nasty. They're very, very nasty talking. Okay, so be very careful. Yes, I had a call from this number about my social security number. About oh, I don't know, twenty minutes ago. Can you help me out? Can you help me out with your name? Can you help me out with your person like that? Yes, my name is George G E O R G E. G E O R G E. No, no, with an E. G E O R G E. Okay. And then. Correct. And B U S H. Bush. About. It was about my social security number. No, I did not. Okay, what, what are my options? It's hard, it's hard to hear you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's hard to hear you. There's a lot of background noise where you're at. Okay, we can, either we can go ahead and give you some more details regarding this case, or else we can forward your file to the local police, and they can directly take this matter in courthouse. So would you like me to provide you some more details, or shall I go ahead with the legal proceeding? Yeah, let's go ahead with the legal proceeding. Really? Well, yeah. Okay. Yep. So, do you want me to call my? Do you want? Do you want me to call my local police office, or do you want to? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, should I tell them that you're calling me from India or Pakistan with this scam you're running? Sorry. Yeah, I'll call it. I'm not from India. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a scammer. Really, you're not a scammer, huh? So you're Pakistani yeah, then? I'm not. A so you're Pakistani. I'm not a Pakistani. I'm not a Pakistani. You sound like a Pakistani. I'm not a Pakistani. Well, now you sound I'm like a gay Pakistani. Pakistani. Now you sound I'm like a high pitch. Pakistani. Really? I'm not a Pakistani. So why are you running this scam then? It's not a scam, bitch. Okay, well, if it wasn't a scam, you would never use a cuss word. Okay, have a good day, good night. No, I want to know why you're running a scam. I mean, it's a good morning. And you know what? The FBI and the CIA would like to know why you're running a scam, too. I don't, I don't give a shit on this FBI, okay? Well, you should because you're from Pakistan, right? You're a Pakistani. F FBI, my foot, you know? FBI, my S. Okay. Do you like them looking at that or something? I mean, that's not even an insulting language. I can run FBI. I can punch FBI. I can, give, I can do whatever if I want. Oh, so you're now saying that you're an actual terrorist and you're putting th terrorist threats against the FBI, the CIA, and the American people. Go and, go and tell your FBI people that I'm coming, okay? What are you going to do when you come? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick their ass, you motherfucker. I'm going to kick their ass one by one. I'm going to kick your ass. So you're going to kick your ass. Why, why don't you tell us what you're going to do if you're going to be a terrorist? Why don't you tell us what you're going to do? I'm kind of... I'm trying to kick your ass, you know. I'm you do realize even scam calls are monitored, right? For any type of terrorist activity. You know that, right? Yeah, 
No, it's no, it's no, 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 no. You are wrong. You know, especially with the Pakistani people who like to no, threaten people with terrorism. Man, you sound like a Pakistani. Hey, 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 are you like? I maybe you are. You are dogs. Yeah, it sounds like dog. Right. So, Pakistani or India? Where are you from? I'm from Pakistani, Boleto. I'm from Chicago. You're from Afghanistan. Oh, I got it. I'm from Chicago. You know, you can't even say it right. <laughs> so why don't, why don't you start talking and tell me where you're actually from? Because, like I said, it's like you're running a scam. I'm from Chicago. You're you're, you're running. You're from Chicago, and you're running a scam because you're a Muslim Pakistani. No, I'm not a Pakistani. I'm a I think you're a Pakistani. I, I like the idea to think that you're part of the Pakistani people, the Pakistani culture. I think that, you know, you probably got a Pakistani wife, Pakistani children. And I think you are running a scam out of a call center that's in Pakistan. Never I met you. Okay, nice. Forget you. You be running on my What if you call Right, and so, how long have you been running the scam for? How long have you been running the scam? So, India's got about, what, 3 billion people, and still it's better than Pakistan? So, now you're trying to speak gibberish to somebody that would not understand you? Which makes no sense, because if you were Social Security or whatever you say you are, the scam you're running is over with for you. You You do realize that there is tracking software. Why? Just, just, Just admit you're a scam, man. Just admit that you're trying to take advantage of Americans. It's been a long day. Without you, my friend. Right. Can I tell you, what you do I realize your religion you forbids you to run scams, friend. right? You do realize your religion forbids you to run scams, right? I wonder how your mom or grandma would feel of you trying to run scams on people. I'm from Nigeria. Right, so you're from Africa then. Yeah, I'm from Africa. Oh, so you're the Nigerian so, prince, so you're, you're trying to run a Nigerian prince scam. Jesus, I'm from Nigeria. Jesus. Yeah, you're not from Nigeria either. I can tell you that right now. I've been to Nigeria. Then what shall I do? If you've been to Nigeria, then what shall I do? Shall I clap for you? No, I want you. I want you to admit that you're running a scam. Okay, message. I want you to admit that you hate Americans so much that you think that you can take advantage of us and that you're running a scam. Kishe. Well, isn't that what you're doing? Americans must be stupid, so we can try to get as much money out of them as possible. American people are stupid, stupid fellow. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the person that's at your call center probably has no clue that who that you're on the phone right now talking to somebody okay. about being a scam. <laughs> wow, that was a long conversation. That guy's an idiot. And if you notice where it came from, I think everybody needs to call that number. You know, I am one of the very, very few people that actually will say call the number and tie up their lines. And I really mean it because they are supposedly they're doing it out of Indianapolis. Let's do it again. We weren't done with our conversation yet. So tell me. How is Pakistan? Nice. Right. Now, how long have you been living in Pakistan? Are you there your entire life or did you move somewhere? I was enjoying our conversation and then you hung up on me. So let's continue with our conversation. It's conversation. Okay. <clears throat> the conversation of you being a scam artist, taking over America, is you trying to act like you're some type of a terrorist. I'm not a scammer. Really, you're not a scammer. Well, you do realize that night, everything... Bro. Good morning. It's nighttime, buddy. So, morning. so you are in India then. Okay, good. You're in India. 
Good morning, bro. You're an Indian. Now, would an Indian and a Pakistani How like to get know? together and marry each other? How do you know I'm from India? Oh, because I'm tracking all your stuff right now. So, like, literally. So, like, you know, the longer I keep you on the phone, the more data I collect. And it's not just you. It's the entire operation where you're at. Fortunately, it is pinging back into the United States over in Indiana right now. But a few more pings and I can trace you down into Pakistan. And if that's what you really want. Because you've already threatened America. You already said you were a terrorist. You already threatened to blow it up. So I'd like to know what else you want to threaten Americans with. Because if there's one way of getting you guys to quit scamming people and there's one way to get each and every one of you arrested no matter what country you're in, is go ahead and threaten America. Go on. You obviously okay. don't know what freedom is, so go ahead and keep threatening America. Okay. I'm waiting. Even I'm waiting too. I know, because you're not making any money as long as I'm on the phone with you. <laughs> I think you realize that's called back. <laughs> I can't believe he keeps answering. Let's see here. Welcome to our voicemail system. All right, they know my number now. What I want to do is I want to call into the uh, Quincy Police Department. And like I said, right now it's Indianola, Illinois. What the heck is Indianola, Illinois? So 217-284-9437. Call them up and mess with them. Let's go and uh, try a different phone. These people are stupid. <laughs> 